So I made this thing that kind of looks like a cityscape with little skyscrapers. Hey guys, it's me Cubix, and this is the Ghost Gumbuts. It's a 2x2 shape mod that I made, and it's cool. So, a Gumbuts is a three-dimensional geometric object which has an interesting property in that it has exactly one equilibrium point that's stable and one equilibrium point that's unstable. The actual mathematical definition is fairly rigorous and I'm not going to get into that in this video. There's a great video made by Action Lab that goes into the details of the gumbuts and how it's discovered. But for the purposes of this video, a gumbuts is essentially a self-writing object uh, and it kind of looks like a dumpling. So what I have here are two gumbutses. One is solid and the other is hollow. And they're both 3D printed, but there's something kind of important about the gumbuts. It doesn't work unless it's a completely homogeneous solid object. So here, this one, which is hollow on the inside, is actually not a true gumbuts. As you can see, it actually lays flat on this side, which is not supposed to. It's supposed to actually go back to its base here. This one is technically not a true gumbuts either because there are some imperfections in the print, but it's a lot closer. So this, again, is the solid one. So if I place this one on an edge, it'll roll around and eventually right itself back to this position, give, give or take a little bit, because again, it's imperfect. This one, on the other hand, has an equilibrium point here, for example, so it can actually, so it can actually sit on an edge, which is not supposed to happen. This one, if you tried to do the same thing, it would just roll down and eventually, oops, well, eventually it would right itself, but it's hitting the edge of the piano. The existence of a gumbutz was first conjectured in 1995 by a Russian mathematician, but it wasn't until 2006 that it was actually proven. And it was proven by two Hungarian scientists. And of course, if you're watching this video, chances are you've heard of something from Hungary before as well, the Rubik's Cube. So I decided to take two fairly interesting geometric things and put them together, thus creating a shape mod of a Rubik's Cube in the shape of a gumbutz. To make things more interesting, I didn't want to just print out extensions and glue them onto a 3x3 because that would be kind of trivial to solve. So instead what I did was I made a ghost version of that, meaning I skewed the actual cuts of the pieces and then put them on a 2x2. So this is similar to a ghost 2x2, of course in the shape of a gumbutz. Originally I wanted to print the entire Originally, I wanted to make the entire thing really nice and shiny with this blue plastic. But it turns out this filament was really, really hard to print with, and I got parts looking really bad, like this. In fact, the prints came out so poorly that I essentially made two whole sets of these parts, and only half of them were actually usable. I also tried painting the edges of the gumbuts so that it would look like there's a little bit more definition between the blue and then the actual cuts of the pieces, uh, but in my opinion, this didn't really look that good, so I didn't end up doing this in the final version. So in this final version, everything is really smooth and everything is sanded down. Unfortunately, the sanding actually removed a lot of the shimmer that the plastic had. So what I did instead was actually took some aluminum polish and rubbed aluminum polish over the entire thing, therefore making it look a little bit dustier, uh, which I think actually looks kind of cool. Of course, on the inside, you can see that the plastic is still really shiny and it turns really, really well but from the exterior, it just looks a little bit more weathered and worn. It's definitely not a look for everyone, but for me, I like it. To make this thing was actually quite challenging because the shape is really awkward to work with. So I first downloaded the STL from Thingiverse, I'll have a link in the description, and I put a slice down the middle and rotated it 120 degrees. I think it looks good. I like that the cuts are offset, just like a ghost cube would be. And especially on this side, I think it looks really cool because the cut actually looks like a curve. For the internals, I just used a Chi Chidi 2x2, it was super cheap, and it's also not magnetic, which is important because in the salt state, where it's a dumpling shape, the layers are not actually aligned, right? So just like a ghost cube, it's technically offset like this. So if there were magnets in the 2x2, it would want to snap in, well, this position, which is not what we want. And the first time I saw this, it was actually quite a challenge. It took a really long time because 
I couldn't figure out where the pieces went. And even when I was assembling this puzzle for the first time, just gluing the pieces on, it took a really long time because I didn't know, because I didn't know where each chunk actually should be. But I've solved this a few times now and I've sort of figured out a method to do it that's relatively straightforward. So the piece I always look for is this one. This is the piece that converges onto a ridge. So there's a point right here. And I know that the piece next to it is uh, very similar. So I always do this piece next. So now I have a two by one by one. Because this ridge goes into a point and I know that on a gumbutz, it's going to be a ridge along the entire thing. I'm gonna look for the piece that has a ridge, which is this one. And so that sits right here. So now I have the entire ridge. And then this piece is just going to be a flattish triangle looking piece. Like that. So now I have the first layer. The second layer is pretty straightforward. I want everything to be the same height. So I know that in this case, these two corners need to be flipped. And then finally to finish off the solve, it looks like in this case it's a J perm because these two are already paired correctly. Uh, so these two just need to be swapped. And after that, it's just an AUF. There you go. Ghost gumbuts. So anyway, this is the ghost gumbuts. I think it's a really fun puzzle to solve. I think it looks kind of cool and I had a lot of fun making it. If you guys are interested in making your own, I'll have links in the description, so make sure to check that out. If you just want to print out, if you just want to print out a gumbuts, I'll also have a link to that, the exact file that I used in the description below, so you can make one of these yourself. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and oh, actually one more thing. I got the X-Man Shadow V2 the other day, and I noticed that all of the middle layers have this click. It sounds like loose magnets. I'm not sure if it's a loose magnet. I took apart, I think, six of the edges, and the magnets all seemed fine, so I'm not sure what the clicking is. If any of you have this cube or have any idea why it might be clicking, leave a comment below. I would love to hear it. All right, thanks, guys, and until next time, toodles. <laughs> all the pieces feel the same, don't they?